I want to actually uh, touch upon an important period of your life. If I'm not mistaken, when you were diagnosed with with cancer, with leukemia, yeah. and and it had reached a point while you were working on a film, you were you genuinely directing, as it were, from a hospital bed, even when you were diagnosed with cancer. No, actually, Mike. You know what happened was uh, it was middle of the shoot, and again, like you know, everything is in my head, in my papers, and yeah, I don't come. I don't communicate it much to the team and right. So problem to that. So I thought um, when I got admitted, which is like it will be, uh, I'll be out very soon. But after two three days, I realized it's getting really serious. I not directed. I actually recorded everything on dictaphone, the whole script and the location where I want to shoot and where I want to shoot, whatever it is, what was whatever there it was in my mind. I I just recorded uh, on dictaphone, one cassette, two cassette, three cassette, and just I just wanted to you know. Uh, because it was ongoing production mind that time right so first day shooting happened there were dates i directed through dita phone this is what my vision is aap logo ko jaisa karna karo lekin uske baad to mujhe pura bol ke dita phone batar diya so i think bhat saab said it many times everywhere so isliye baat aise bahar nikal gayi lekin i think anybody would have done it it's not something special i was doing because there was a script i had written i have not papered it out i had to i had to communicate to my assistants and others in the unit you were told that you have about what two or three weeks left in your life yeah. right yeah. and you were on ventilator for 17 days if i'm not mistaken right yeah. when yeah. when That's someone 20 days right when someone tells you i'm like that you have two or three weeks left in life, how 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 do you take it how did you take it it just happened too quickly man you know and uh, there was too quickly and uh, one day i just saw my reflection my face was bloated i didn't even knew it was i was looking like this and uh, so all the internal bleeding was happening buckets of blood was going on i just wanted to breathe right you know that was the only thing happening you know mujhe aisa lag raha tha ki kabhi breathe kiya maybe i will not get the till i went into the ventilator so uh, i was shifted from one hospital to another hospital there is a scene you know in metro where nafis ali dies in the ambulance in the traffic jam i thought it's going to happen with me because um, from lilavati i was going to tata road jams mm. and so tata jati sath mujhe ventilator mein dal diya to main ko 17 18 days when you ventilate you don't know what's happening to you mm. so it's just few hours for me actually so till then yeah it's just breathe right whatever strength you have will power you have nobody wants to die that's the only thing nothing play pays you no know, mind when there's so much pain yeah those 17 days went in ventilator it was it took a toll on my dad actually his health deteriorated after that and um, because 17 days uh, sitting outside the ice i see not knowing what's going to happen next it's uh, it, it was tough on my family and uh, what about later when were you were aware how close it was for you in terms of survival or not survival how did that change you in some ways is there a pre you before that moment and is there like a life changing moment there bahut i have not changed the mind my personality is the same my rights and wrongs are the same but yeah uh, the outlook towards the life has changed i have, I have become more less cynical about things and uh, more positive can say but that time the only change was you know it was survival mind because kya hua wo aapka you know you're in the icu then you're in the icu treatment chal raha hai aur chal hi raha hai aur matlab lamba treatment chala and then you have made your career your name made to yourself and then you back to square one yeah khatam matlab pura fir zero se shuru actually i have started doing television again i never got films again i had this, to this, this after the, this after the success of um, murder would that be right after the success of murder i am right. diagnosed and mm-hmm. then uh, hospital bills etc you recover i am still you know wearing i was i become thin skin head mask and then there was a survival issue money and uh, okay. so then I went to my old television colleagues in Z and Sony, and they gave me shows, you know, one-offs. Is mm-hmm. uh, so that's how I started again slowly. So it was back to square one, and then television, करते करते. एक डेढ़ साल तक मैंने टेलीविजन किया, एक साल तक एक्चुअली. तो when you're struggling, <laughs> hand to mouth situation में आपको कुछ ज़िंदगी और उसका रवैया कुछ नहीं चुता. It is just to survive, you know, just next day, next next uh, uh, hospital bill. That's it. subscribe to midday india get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon